Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about atomic models and discuss in details about the Thomson's atomic model. But, before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. The concept about the structure of atom given by various scientists is called their atomic model. Most important models proposed by different scientists regarding the structure of atoms are as follows. 1. Thomson's atomic model. 2. Rutherford's atomic model. 3. Bohr's atomic model. And the modern atomic model. In this video, we will discuss in details about the Thomson's atomic model. The description of Thomson's atomic model is one of the many scientific models of the structure of atom. It was proposed by J. J. Thomson in the year 1904, just after the discovery of electrons. However, at that time, the atomic nucleus was yet to be discovered. So, he proposed a model on the basis of known properties available at that time. The only properties of atom known at that time were Number 1. Atoms are neutrally charged. And, number 2. Negatively charged particles called electrons are present in an atom. So, based on these known properties, the postulates of the Thomson's atomic model were proposed. According to the postulates of Thomson's atomic model, an atom resembles a sphere of positive charge with electrons, which are the negatively charged particles present inside the sphere. The positive and negative charge present inside an atom is equal in magnitude and therefore an atom has no charge as a whole and thus it is electrically neutral. The Thomson's atomic model resembles or looks like a spherical plum pudding as well as a watermelon. It resembles a plum pudding because the electrons in the model look like the dry fruits embedded in a sphere of positive charge just like a spherical plum pudding. The model has also been compared to a watermelon, because the red edible part of a watermelon was compared to the sphere having a positive charge, and the black seeds filling the watermelon looked similar to the electrons inside the sphere. Now let's look at the drawbacks or limitations of Thomson's atomic model. The Thomson's atomic model failed to explain how the positive charge holds on the electrons inside the atom. It also failed to explain an atom's stability. The theory given by Thomson did not mention anything about the nucleus of an atom. And also, the Thomson's atomic model was unable to explain the scattering experiment of Rutherford. So, we've learned about atomic model and discussed in details about the Thomson's atomic model and its limitations or drawbacks. Next, we will discuss about the Rutherford's atomic model in details. Thank you. 